So here on our table, we have SoFi Bank and we're going to be reviewing this one because I want to give you all the information you need to know just before you bank with SoFi. So I think I have covered SoFi before, but for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm going to give you the overview, you know, just a quick run through so that you would know what I'm talking about. So basically, SoFi is an online bank that helps you save and invest. You may also apply for personal loans, student loans, mortgages, and credit cards. SoFi checking and savings customers have access to over 55,000 fee-free ATMs in the All Point ATM network. And SoFi checking and savings members can protect up to 2 million in deposits through the SoFi Insured Deposit Program. Money beyond the traditional FDIC insurance limit will be put into FDIC insured accounts at partner banks. So, what is SoFi digital experience and app usability? Is it good? Is it worth it to use? Listen to this. Since SoFi is an, on, uh, since SoFi is an online only bank, this means the bank doesn't have any physical branches. I guess that's very easy to understand. So you'll have to manage SoFi products primarily through online and mobile banking. The bank's mobile app is rated 4 out of 5 stars in the Google Play Store and 4.8 out of 5 stars in the Apple Store. That's quite high. So the SoFi mobile app user experience includes many essential banking features. For example, you can make mobile check deposits, find ATMs, and set alerts for managing bill payments. So that's great functionality right there. But, you know, if you want to experience it, you can just simply install it and then comment down below your experience in using their app. Now, let's move on to SoFi's customer service and support. So basically, customer support is available through a uh, phone or live chat. Representatives are available seven days, a, seven days a week, but the exact hours vary depending on the product. It's, it's just the same with, you know, the other banks. So if you have questions about SoFi checking and savings, SoFi personal loan or SoFi undergraduate student loans support is available from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. PT Monday through Thursday or 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. PT Friday through Sunday. Representatives can answer questions about SoFi home loans from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. PT Monday through Friday. If you need to talk to our representative about SoFi Active Inve Invest, you can contact the bank from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. PT Monday through Friday. And lastly, credit card, credit card support is available 24-7 by phone. And to end this video, let's, let's uh, give you the major pros and cons of SoFi. So let's see. For the pros, they have a $300 cash bonus with SoFi checking and savings. They're one of, they are one of the best investing apps for beginners. They are also hailed as one of the best personal loans and one of the best private student loans. When it comes to cons, they decline purchases if you overdrew more than $50 on SoFi checking and savings. Other online banks have more credit card options and $1,000 minimum loan amount for student loans. All right. So that's all that you need to know about SoFi. And if you're planning to open up an account with them, please do not forget to put your personal needs and preferences in priority with their terms and conditions, their benefits, their services, their account types, their credit cards, whatever they offer. Because if everything, like all of those check out, then you're good to go with them. But if not, you might want to check my other videos about investment platforms, financial platforms, banks, so that you could have a, you know, um, a wider choice in choosing the perfect platform for you thank you so much for watching guys please do not forget to subscribe this is your buddy josh and i'm going to be seeing you on the next one peace out